Hey everybody, Tonic here. This week I want to show how to find the Red Asylum Dress as well as all the other dresses in the game. Now if you don't know, the Red Asylum Dress is easily the most valuable outfit in the entire game. I've seen it go for 30k caps and vending machines and I've even seen people trade legacy weapons for it. This is the dress right here and this photo was taken by Vault Girl over on Twitter. Please do go check her out, she does post amazing photographs using the photo mode in the game. Right here are all the other colors and they all do vary in price. And another thing I'm going to do in this video is document my hunt for this dress. I've been looking for about two and a half to three months and I'm going to show the results on what I got so you guys get a general gist of what to expect when you start the grind for it. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now the only places outfits spawn are at the Allegheny Asylum and the Cranberry Bog. You can also get the outfits and hats from doing events in the Cranberry Bog, however it's a lot harder and much rarer to get an outfit from a drop. So with that being said, let's head right inside. Now normally upon arrival, this door is closed and you have to press this button to open it. However, it won't open for you unless you went through this hallway, up the staircase, and right above this hole there's a power cord and that cord is connected to a lever that you have to hit to open it for the first time. And once you do that, you can just press the button every single time. Heading in here, you're going to want to take a right and then another right and you're gonna come across this elevator and this washroom. Now this washing room has two outfit spawns and a hat, but they're always the same. It's a forest hat and two white dirty outfits. The actual good ones are gonna be up in this. And if these are red for you, these lasers, you're not able to access this, you wanna to go to uh, Abby's Bunker, which is right here on the map and do the quest line there, which will then grant you access to this elevator. Now, if you don't want to do that quest line to get access to the elevator, there is another longer route, which you can take. However, it's going to be a pain every single day you come here to do this, and it, it just takes a lot more time than necessary. But I will show it right now. It will bring you right up here. There's only this spawn one in there and one in there. So coming in here, there is nothing. Going into the next one, there is, again, nothing. They'll spawn right on these beds. And in the third one, there is a uniform weather. So not a very good run, but I will show a good one right now. Now server hopping isn't very viable for this as once you grab one the spawns are reset and a timer so you have to go back the next day to try and get them kind of like collecting ore and stuff like that. So a good useful tip is if you have fallout first you can actually do it twice a day. You can go to the public server and your private server before you try and grab one. Now as for my results I've been going at it for about two and a half months and I ended up stopping grabbing all the white ones and stuff just because there's so many of them. So I really just kind of wanted the rarer ones so I came with one blue. Four brown, four green, one pink, and then of course the white and the white dirty. The pink is definitely the rarest one that I found. And like this is two and a half to three months of grinding for it, so it is gonna take you a while, maybe. Maybe you get super lucky and find it on the first day, which would be absolutely sick. But realistically, it will take you a while. I'm still planning on doing it because I actually really want that red dress, but the results here are not the best. It's gonna take a while. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it and good luck finding that dress because it is extremely elusive and that really adds to the value. I've seen people trade legacies for the dress, I mean it is almost priceless. Now it does vary from PS4 to Xbox to PC because on PC there are a little bit more as they were duped, but I play on PC and I still hardly ever see them and if I do in vending machines they're going for max 30k caps. So like I said just good luck guys, it is a grind. But with that being said, thank you guys so much again for watching this video and have a great weekend.